Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am here with an Anastasia Beverly Hills haul because finally she is in Canada, like in Sephora in Canada, in Ottawa. Like, what the heck? This has taken so long like we have been wanting Anastasia for the longest time and Sephora finally got with it and gave us Anastasia Beverly Hills here in Canada because honestly when I used to order off of her website the shipping and the custom fee not cute so now I'm so glad that I can actually go in store and swatch things before I buy things and I am just so happy for all of us because there are girls in Canada right now just thanking Lord Jesus Jesus you're so good to us I am thinking of doing like a swatch videos on all of her eyeshadows because I do have pretty much all of the palettes and she does offer them in single eyeshadows so that you guys can actually see the swatches before ordering them if they are on the Sephora website or if you're planning on ordering them on her website that way you guys can definitely check it out so let me know if you guys want to see a swatch video on all of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows that she carries I think that would be a really cool idea let me know um, because the ones that I'm going to show you guys are just the ones that I purchased um, recently so let's go ahead and talk about the lip glosses which I think is one of the most exciting thing because I am so impressed i picked up four of her glosses and i got pretty much the nude shades if you look at them they all look very very similar but they're not okay they are different the first one that i had picked up was kirsten and what was the other one vintage and then i ended up going back and getting sepia and undressed so let's give them a little swatchy swatchy for you guys oh my god each uh, lip gloss retails for $21, which in my opinion is pretty good for high-end lip glosses. Um, Marc Jacobs retails for like 30 something, Boxum 25, Urban Decay 26. So I think the price point is really good, but for the quality, like I am so blown away. Basically, my theory is that these are not lip glosses. These are basically liquid lipstick that don't dry matte. That's what they are. The pigmentation on them is so crazy. Like, I don't need to put a lipstick underneath them. They're so opaque, so comfortable, and they last really well on the lips. So I just wear these as lipsticks. That's why I ended up getting so many of the other nude shades, and I definitely want to get more because they are just so comfortable. And I am a little bit getting over the liquid lipstick phase, even though I do have a lipstick liquid lipstick on right now <laughs> but I'm kind of getting over it and I'm really loving the luscious lips very comfortable moist I hate that word and so I decided to give these a go and I love them all I do is put a lip liner just to define the lips and then put this on and I'm good to go for the rest of the day amazing so um let's watch them i'm gonna go from lightest to dark actually so this one is undressed and it is a very pale um nude it has a beige tone to it for sure and these mm, i'm all over the place i'm so sorry i'm so excited for this video but they smell like vanilla cupcakes yeah, they smell like vanilla cupcakes. It is a strong scent. The packaging is just your standard gloss, but very high end. You can tell that it's very good in quality. So this one is undressed right over here. And it's just a um, nudie color right there. And I will have close-up swatches. Don't worry. The next shade is vintage. And this is a very pretty nudie pink and it has sparkles in them, like very light hints of sparkles in them. But honestly, when I do put them on the lips, I really don't see the sparkles, which is a little disappointing because I really wanted to see that iridescent look to it that I see in the tube. But here is Vintage. It's so pretty. It's a lovely, lovely um, kind of nudie pink, dusty pink, whatever you want to call it. I love it. Look, Do you see how pigmented these are? Crazy. I can I cannot deal with it. And then the next one that I got is Kirsten. This is one of my favorite ones out of the four for sure. It's like my lips but better. Oh my gosh. It's a mauve dusty rose color. 
so pretty yes yes okay love love this one this one all over the lips with hover lip liner is life it is life and then the last one that i got is sepia which i wasn't gonna get because i don't feel like i look good in very cool tone that grungy that grayish kind of look on the lips it just i don't know it just doesn't compliment me but i like this one because it has more of that brown tone to it so it doesn't look too bad and it doesn't make my teeth look too yellow which a lot of these kind of shades do um, it does come off very deep when I swatch it, but on the lips, it's not as deep as um, the swatch that you're going to see right now, but it is a beautiful color. So here is Sepia, and it's like a cool tone brown. It has hints of purple in it, I want to say. So here are they. Look at them. Like, so pigmented. This is like not dipping into the tube and getting another, like, I love it. I love it. And I want to say that the um, wand, the doe foot applicator is very comfortable, very easy to apply. These are not sticky at all. They just feel so comfortable on the lips. Um, they are a little bit on the thicker side. So I will say less is more with this. You don't want to put too much or it will just feel a little heavy with too many layers. But one layer is enough because they're so pigmented. You do not need to layer this at all. This is stunning. So the next product that I'm going to talk about is the glow kit that I wanted from the moment they started promoting it. But I was not about to pay that high as shipping. Shipping was like $20. Eh, hell to the no. So I waited and look, baby Jesus brought it too. Sephora. So this is the glow kit that I went ahead and picked up. The glow kit is 52, I believe, which in my opinion is bomb because you're getting four shades to select from and the pan size is humongous. So I got mine in that glow. They do have two. The other one is more of like that pearly, lighter shades for fairer skin tones. So I grabbed this one. And here is the glow kit. Look at it. Look at the size of these pants. This is the illuminator that they first came out with. And these were $29 each or $25 each around that price point. And this is what they look like in size. Okay. In size. And this is what the glow kit looks like in size. It's almost the same thing. It is insane. And then when you look at the pants, they're not super thin they are quite deep and i'm not sure if they're going to be coming out with more colors because it looks like you can actually pull them out of the kit um i kind of want to do there we go so look you can pull them out and replace them so i'm assuming she's going to have more individual um highlighters that you can customize your own kit with amazing each pan contains 0 0.26 ounces and the illuminators contain, let's see if I can see, uh, 0 0.32 ounces. So about 10 more ounces, like Hello Glow Kit all of the way. And I kind of feel like the Glow Kits are a little bit more smoother and buttery than the illuminators. I will say that the illuminators have more of that wet effect, but... Honestly, the smoothness of this one, I like it a lot. Like, I really like it. The Illuminators, I love the colors, especially the one that I just showed you guys, this one, which is Peach Nectar, because it's so different. But I can customize this. I can layer them. I can mix them around. And it's what I have on it, and I hope my lighting is picking it up. I have um, Drippin' in Gold and Sunburst right over here and on that nose because we got to get it snatched. Do you see that? Oh, yes, I can see it from here. So I know y'all can see this. Yes, baby. Bola. Here are the shades swatched. And I hope my camera is picking it up well. Aren't they beautiful? Like that first shade right there, starting from the top, is Sunburst. Then the second shade is Golden Bronze. As you guys can see, it's more of a bronzy color. And then the other shade is bubbly. 
And then we have Dripping in Gold. I love them all. They're so beautiful, stunning. And I went ahead and picked up her eyeshadows, which I actually took them out of the quad. So you can get one eyeshadow for $18 or get a quad for 52, I believe it is, or around that price. So it makes more sense to get four. Like, hello, you're getting a deal. This is what the quad looks like, which I still have the wrapping because I honestly don't use it. I decided to put mine in a Z palette, especially the ones that I really love. And yeah, the quad is really nice. It um, kind of reminds me of the MAC Cosmetic Quads. And I have my eyeshadows. Where do I have them? Okay, so I placed them into this customized Z palette that um, I picked up off of Beautylish. So some of the eyeshadows are in here. And I'm just going to show you the ones that I picked up very quickly. So the first one that I got is... This one is Satin. And it is this very pretty... Um, champagne shade i want to say it's so pretty it has a really nice sheen to it it's so pretty i can't say that enough it's really really buttery and super smooth okay so that is a shade that i picked up the next shade that i went and picked up is 10k and this is a pale gold shade another very smooth one and super pigmented look at that love love this one it's very beautiful that one is 10k and then what else did i pick up oh yes i picked up from her latest release wet one fresco <laughs> i hope i didn't butcher it and this is just a very soft light lilac shade i want to say it's so pretty it's so gentle it's like a romantic shade so it looks like that it's so stunning. I love this one. It's very soft. Beautiful all over the lids for like a matte look. Uh, then I picked up Comfort, which is this beautiful bronze shade. Not really bronze. What color is this? Yeah, it's a bronzy. It's a deep bronzy shade. Really pretty right there. Another very, very pigmented color. And this is one of her newest release love that one for a smoky light look like everyday kind of smoky look beautiful um i also grabbed pink champagne which is in her self-made palette but i find that the individual pan is better it's less chunky and more smooth and buttery to work with so pink champagne is a rose gold shade very intense look at that <sighs> like yes please a matte shade that i went ahead and picked up is burnt orange this is a matte shade but it's very very smooth to the touch it's just a really warm brown with hints of orange right there very pretty very very pretty for a crease color love it and then i picked up another color this one's called glisten and it's stunning oh my god beautiful like i love this shade so much this one reminds me of makeup geek foiled shadows i don't know why and this one is kind of like a rose gold shade right over here it's beautiful this one's a little bit powdery but it still blends out really really well love it so those are the shades that i got that is it for my Anastasia haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something that you might want to pick up at Sephora in Canada. Yes, we have Anastasia. Tell the whole world, go to Anastasia right now. Get yours, okay? Most of the stuff sold out so fast on the first day. I mean, everyone was excited for Anastasia. We didn't even know when it was coming and then boom, it was in our face. I mean, I'm just going to be poor leave it at that thank you so so much for joining me again please give this video a thumbs up share it with anyone who is looking at anastasia in sephora and i'll see you guys on the next video ciao